For our final project, we chose to explore the field of machine learning with regards to musical improvisation. We were curious as to how well a probabilistic algorithm could imitate an art form as creative and as seemingly free-spirited as jazz music. To achieve this goal, we decided to focus on the improvised solos of the famous saxophonist Charlie Parker, parsing his musical phrases in terms of chord progressions, uh, melodic motions, and rhythmic patterns. With the help of MIT's Music 21 Toolkit for Computer-Aided Musicology, we developed a Python script that would run an algorithm on a set of music XML files. Using Markov chains to model the transitions between various moments in the musical solo, we utilized several data structures to keep track of the transitional probabilities. Our approach to the problem began with examining the rhythms of a song, storing transitional probabilities in a list of lists matrix that are allocated one row and column to each feasible rhythmic subdivision of a musical measure. More specifically, with each new note parsed by our script, our matrix was updated to include a new instance of a note transition, editing the existing probabilities in a given row as needed. We then used this algorithm as a basis for implementing transition matrices regarding chord changes and pitches, utilizing Python's excellent file input-output feature to read chord lists from plain text files. To finish our implementation, we gave the user the opportunity to feed the script a sample chord list upon which the computer would generate a solo. The results of this algorithm were surprisingly true to form, with some degree of jazz phrasing apparent. Example. This is an example of a solo we included in the corpus. For each individual note on this page, we proportionally increase the probability that the previous note would go to that note within the rhythm matrix. And we also increase the probability that the tone is played after the tone of the previous note with respect to the chord root in the pitch matrix corresponding to the current chord. We parse a text file with a list of chords, including their root, type of, and length. This is an example of a solo created based on a corpus of only one song. Unfortunately, there is not much information provided by such a small corpus, and so we will end up with this result. This is an example of a solo created using our full corp corpus of nearly 30 improvisations, many lasting for multiple cycles through the song's chord changes. The difference is obvious. Many instances of chords and notes uh, have informed our program, so it is more likely to play more appropriate patterns in the right places. Overall, this project was successful. Uh, using our algorithms as well as the extensive corpus we transcribed, we had created a program that can create fairly convincing jazz improvisations. As we had hoped, our program reliably creates and modifies existing matrices to reflect accurate transition probabilities. We can feed the program a list of core changes and it will also create a soul that corresponds to the sequence. We even managed to streamline the matrices used by the program by eliminating our initial plan of using core transitional matrices in favor of just seeding the first note of the new chord with the previous note with respect to the new chord. This works well and produces fine improvisations. Since it preserves the voice leading one would expect between chords in an improvisation and avoids what we worried might sound like a um, concatenation of single chord solos. In terms of improvements to our project, we think creating a more fine-grained approach to these probabilities would be beneficial, meaning one that finds probabilities of moving from a sequence of notes to a new note instead of just one note to the next. It would also have been beneficial to take a less simplistic approach holistically. We treated rests as another possible note value, whereas the placement of rests has a lot to do with distinct phrases and parts of the chord sequence. In general, treating pitch and rhythm as distinct, segregated concepts is not the best way to approach improvisation. Almost all combinations of pitches are related to the rhythm over which they are played.